Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, determine the orientation theta of the 40 pound force so that it produces a maximum moment about point A and no moment about point A. Find the moment in the first case. First, split the force into X and Y components using the given angle. By doing so, we get Fy equals 40 sine theta pounds and Fx equals 40 cosine theta pounds. Let's find the angle that produces a maximum moment about A. We will set up a moment equation about point A. The moment of the Y component about A is the Y component of the force times its distance from A, which is 8 feet meters. The moment of the X component about A is the X component of the force times its distance from A which is two feet. We will set this equation equal to zero to find the angle that generates a maximum moment. By rearranging this equation to get sine theta over cosine theta, which can be further simplified to tan theta, we get that tan theta equals negative 0.25. Taking the tan inverse of 0.25, we get negative 14.036 degrees. Now, this is not our final answer. Let's take a step back and remember that the formula to find a moment is F times D times sine theta. Sine achieves its maximum value at 90 degrees, so we will subtract the angle we found from 90. This gives us 76 degrees, which is our final answer. Knowing the angle, we can find the maximum moment generated. Using the equation we previously defined and substituting theta for 76 degrees, we get that the maximum moment about point A is 300 pounds per foot. Let's move on to the next part of the question. That asks us to find the angle that generates no moment. We will repeat the same process that we just did for the first part of the question, splitting F into components and then rearranging the moment equation to find the angle. Again, we get that theta is 14 degrees. This time though, we're looking for the angle that generates no moment. Let's take a step back and remember that the formula to find a moment is F times D times sine theta. Sine is zero at 180 degrees, so we will subtract the angle we found from 180. This gives us 166 degrees, which is our final answer. And there you have it. Quick statics answers.